hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on finding the input of a function given the output. Now in the previous video we saw what a function was. A function is something which takes an input, usually denoted as x, and then spits out some output. So some expression in terms of x, which is what you want the output to be. So in this particular case, we've got f of x is 2x minus 5. And that's basically saying, if the input of your function was some number x, the output will be 2 times x, so 2 times the input, minus 5. Now previously, we saw if you had a particular input, how you could work out the output. Now we're doing the reverse. We're saying if the output of your function, so if f of x, the output of your function f of x was equal to 3, what would be the input x which gives you an output of 3? Because the output is 3 this time, not the input. Now we could sometimes do in our head. If we know the input, we're timesing it by 2 and subtracting 5, and that gave you 3, you could work your way backwards. So you could add 5 and divide by 2. But the easiest way is to say, well, if we know that f of x is 2x minus 5, that f of x there I can replace with 2x minus 5. So we're saying the output 2x minus 5 of your function is equal to that output we expect of 3. And then we just need to solve that. So we can just add 5 to both sides of the equation, and then we divide both sides of the equation by 2, and that gives you 4. Let's just check that. If the input was 4, 2 times 4 is 8, minus 5 is equal to 3, and that indeed matches the output that we expected. So the key point here is just, if you've got the output of 3, you just set your expression f of x equal to that particular value, in this case 3.